Hello and welcome everybody, I'm One Proper Baron and today we're here playing Voltaire's Nightmare. An amazing mod, a mind-blowing mod for Open Status 4. We're gonna play as this down here gives it away already. Don't look at that, okay? I try, I try to hide it by putting my hand over my monitor. We're gonna play Bayreuth, which is a city in Franconia, in Upper Franconia, I believe. Uh, in modern-day Bavaria but that identifies culturally as something different than Bavarian. We're going to take a closer look at that. I haven't even looked at the culture maps now that I think about it. It doesn't matter though. Uh, as you can see, there's some interesting scenarios here. There's, you know, all of this stuff, which is 1054. Uh, we're not going to start here simply because I'm afraid that Byzantium would never actually, you know, get to be as strong as they should be, uh, as weak as they should be. I want to play a game in which we face, you know, the, the standard issues, the really big reformation wars, everything about that should be great. And because of that, we're going to start with the rise of the Ottomans. In that case, we already have everything settled in the Ottomans are about to take Byzantium or rather Constantinople. Sorry about that. What is this down here? Beneventum. Interesting. And we're going to play as Bayreuth, which is right up there. Give it a second to load in. Uh, we're gonna, despite being in modern day Bavaria, try to form what is roughly this area. Franconia. We're gonna try to form Franconia. We got our own ideas. We're gonna go through that in a second. Uh, we're not an elector. We're just a normal nation. Nordgau is controlled by Denmark. Interesting. I, I don't know the historical background for that, actually. But... Interesting and important part is here that we are just a teeny tiny faction ruled by the Hohenzollern. That's right, we are part of the dynasty that would later go on to form the German Empire, the Kaiserreich that will never be forgotten. The second one. The first one is this one, obviously. Uh, despite Voltaire's judgment, this is a German's dream. Being tiny and being the better, you know, being better than your other German neighbors. That is what every German does even to this day. And we will jump right into it. Let's go. It's a normal moment, trust me, I won't cheat, I will just fix things if necessary. And the music needs to be toned down, I know. I will take care of that in a second. Give me just one moment. Okay, here we are, and we are now loaded in as well. I'm going to constantly change the music volume. People that have seen me play these games before will know. And we're going to start this out by listening to... I think this song. Maybe it's Keras de Bruder Zustra Ochwenner. There's one song where he just makes up sounds. It's a good song. I mean, you could just say that it's Swedish, right? <laughs> oh, oh, got him. So we're going to make Ansbach our rival. Ansbach is ruled by our youngest brother, uh, Albrecht II Achilles, great name, also Hohenzollern. And Brandenburg is ruled by Friedrich II von Hohenzollern. He is our younger brother. Not the youngest, but our younger brother. We, for some reason, said no to our right to inherit uh, Brandenburg. And now we're stuck here in Bayreuth. And you know what? We're gonna make Bayreuth great again. So, we made Ansbach our rival. We're gonna make Bamberg our rival as well. Yes, I thought about this, by the way. I'm not doing this randomly. I just think that these are the most... Logical rivals. Würzburg is the last one. And then we are concerned with something because as you can see here, Brandenburg and Ansbach, our brothers, will have a succession war if we were to die right now. We're 38. No wife. No kid. Let's get a wife. Let's get a kid. Let's do it, boys. And girls. <coughs> we're gonna try to get a marriage here and then later an alliance with Saxony because Saxony is strong. I'm gonna try to pick them up as an ally. I will try to pick up Munich as well. If we get a Wittelsbach uh, dynasty, that would be nice as well. Our three merchants are free. We are here in Nuremberg. We're just going to collect trade from there. We're going to steer trade from Augsburg to Nuremberg and then from Innsbruck to Nuremberg as well because, well, that's the only area that trade can come from to Nuremberg. Which brings me to something that I love. Nuremberg is the regular German way, but the Franconians say Nuremberg. So they named it Nambesh. That's nice. And here's the same thing. Bamberg, Bamberg. Uh, up here, something similar. Leipzig. In reality, this is called Leipzig. There you go. Spelled out right there. I think that is extremely funny. 
and I appreciate that they put that in as well down here, Minge. You know, it's it's München, obviously in German, but uh, in the local or even in the regional dialect of Bavarian, of Bayerisch, Bayerisch, it's uh, Minge. And a lot of kids actually never hear about München until they, you know, go to school. I mean, these days everybody's internet. Let's be right. Uh, let's be really. But there are kids that have never heard München beforehand. Ah, what else is there to do to start out softly and well? We have a force limit of six at the moment. Let's just build some additional uh, regiments here. We got royal marriages, but no person. Oh, right. Yeah, we do have this decision as well. Issue a size of arms. Pass an ordinance to streamline the raising of troop levies and the enforcement of legal retribution against criminals. Absolutely. Gives us manpower, gives us... Uh, I can't remember what else. What was the other thing? Oh, force limit. Oh, now we have seven. Right, let me just build another lesson medieval infantry then. Right, first things first. We want an alliance with Saxony. Golden era, France, Aragon, and Venice. Interesting that they're hammering that out already. Improvements in government technology. A few local workers in the administration have discovered that what they claim is a more efficient way to handle documents. Obviously, they do not know what they're talking about, but can it hurt to let them try their new ideas? Uh, some inflation for admin power. Absolutely, let's do it. Saxon offered us, okay, this this worked. Munich won't accept it. You're allied to Kempenstadt. Why would you not accept that? We need a stronger army. I mean, we're going to have a stronger army in a second here. You obviously hate us because your rival is Saxony, right? Good point. I'm going to... Schwarzenberg. I'm going to build a spy network with you. And I'm going to build a spy network with you actually as well. I would like to have a corridor here, right? To take all of these provinces. Wouldn't that be beautiful? I think it would be. So now we have one ally, which is Saxony. That is not a lot kind of afraid uh, let's try to oh there you go already okay let's call him back and offer an alliance to München and they accept it beautiful now they are allied to Kempenstadt Bohemia oh, Bohemia come on you guys don't want to be allied why are you allied and why do I not have a wife yet Give me a wife, though. I'm going to ally Landshut as well. The Kingdom of Italy and the Empire. For years now, imperial authority over the Kingdom of Italy has been waning. Successive emperors have failed to impose their will on the Italian states, and larger areas that are formerly part of the Empire have been lost to republics and theocracies who reject the Empire's right to them. Unless Italy is firmly brought back into the Empire, the states there may slip out of imperial control forever. Unless the number of Ghibelline rulers is greater than or equal to the number of Guelph rulers from 1490 until 1550, the states there are likely to leave the empire. Passing imperial reforms and improving the empire, emperor's opinion with states will make them more likely to side with the Ghibellines. Is that like a league that I have no idea about? I've also seen that France has like a system of fiefdoms. It's the, the Chinese system. They've already levied royal taxes. Okay. How, how do they do this? When can they enact these, I wonder? I have no clue, by the way. Hmm. Regardless, uh, we now have seven troops, and that fulfills a mission here. Building troops to the fort limit. Every time. Okay, so we're building up a spy network. Do you have any big allies? You do not. Oh, you have... S oh, wait, that's me. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was a moment here. That made me very afraid. The House von Abenberg. What happened here? Vinsheim? Okay, first of all. Where's Vinsheim? It is... Ooh, okay. Uh, so, wait a second. Vin it's you. It's just a city. I don't... Okay, I don't care. We got Rosemarie. is our new prince, prince's consort. And we have a son... Who's great? 433, Albrecht Ernst. That's a good name. With the union of Johann IV, the alchemist, and Rosemarie, we have gained not only a spouse, but also a new ally in the realm. 
the von Abenberg is an old and influential family and their seat in Pegnitz is a jewel of the principality. Of course, fr a friendship has to go both ways, and Rosemarie will be expected to speak for her kin, while our prince will be expected con to consider such advice very carefully. Pegnitz is the seat of the family of our prince's consort. Uh, it's down here if you didn't, if you weren't aware. This province will be less likely to revolt, but will be granted privileges, making it harder to tax or convert. Let me just check one thing, because I have no clue if von Abenberg is actually a real dynasty. Von Abenberg. It absolutely is. Oh, get out of here. Get get out of here. This is such a good... They're working this in so well. Ugh. You can't be... You can't be real. That's crazy. That they've put that in here. Man, that is just insane. So, it's it's real. There's a boy Abenberg. I've never been there. But, good luck. Local unrest and, of course... Okay, so we married a local instead of one of the Wittelsbachers or the uh, the uh, Wettins. I've met Wittelsbach, uh, the head of Wittelsbach and his like son or something. I've met them. I've met the Wettins as well. Uh, the Hohenzollern that ruled here in Bayreuth as well. The, the Hohenzollern, he actually ruled for a very long time. It's a very successful Franconian branch. I think they ruled pretty much until their death. Like until the death of all the dynasties in... Where's the music? Did I stop that? Oh, it's trying to play tracks that aren't there, I think. Yeah, don't do that. Play that, sure. Right, so we now married a local and have no obligations to any of our allies to, you know, stay true to only to them. Princess Consort Rosemarie von Abenberg. Leininger demand and Bayreuth supply. It seems the off Wundsee have become increasingly sought after in the Leininger capital, Leiningen. There was always a high demand for our goods, but this exceptional pull has resulted in a great surge of wealth in the province. Wunsiede, give me one moment, it's right here. Yep, okay. And they're producing textiles, okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. We're making beautiful things and they really like it. The burgers are gaining more loyalty, uh, local trade power and local goods produced up. Should give us a bit more income. Still don't really want to buy advisors. Don't, don't feel like that's the right call to make here. Yeah. Simple as that. We are now, however, at a level where we can fabricate a claim. And I would like a claim on Greifenstein. Beautiful. And now I will fabricate a claim on you, Seinsheim. And then I will stop. Hey, I will stop doing this. And we got something beautiful going here, I think. The thing is just, if they unite, there's 7k, obviously. I don't want my king to die, so I'm not going to make him a military leader. Oh, Friedrich Karl von Hechingen, you're an awful general, but hey. What choice? What choice do we have in this life? Time to drill at least a little, teeny little bit here. I'm going to look at that in a second. Times of need. The dynasty of our noble prince von Hohenzollern is certainly a powerful one. Through Johann IV, the alchemist, they rule our nation and will do so for many years to come. However, even their great are sometimes in need of help. Thankfully, the von Hohenzollern family has ties strong to other great powers, such as the von Wittelsbach house led by no other than Heinrich the 16th, Duke of Landshut. His gracious wife, Rosemary, is a daughter of our own royal house, Oh, really? Where does it say who you're married to? Does it say that somewhere? But apparently, he's married uh, von Hohenzollern. And an invaluable contact. Perhaps we shall ask her if she can influence her husband to lend us a hand. So we could get money, admin points, diplomat points, uh, a general. Ooh, kind of want to say yes. And for more men of our, for our army? Hmm. Or we could just get prestige, I think. So all of these are 0%. Uh, How about you send me a general? Maybe some other plays are more optimal here, but I would like, you know, a, a, pro a proper good general. Why not, right? In the meantime, let's drill a little bit. 
A helping hand. Finally, we have heard back. Oh, it's just military power. Finally, we have heard back from dearest Rosemary rega uh, regarding regarding our request for her husband. The most noble Duke Heinrich the Sixteenth has decided to grant it. The reply was carried back by one of his finest generals, who is here to teach our own officers about how military training is conducted in Landshut. A letter of thanks shall be sent immediately to the generous Duke Heinrich the Sixteenth. Long may he reign. Thank you, Landshut. That is very kind of you. So they only, they still only have one ally, which is beautiful. That's just, that's just how we want it, okay? I think we should build, like, one more trooper, though. Alright, let's go over the force limit. Let's do it. You gotta do what you gotta do. That's a root of the land. It keeps going to these songs that are, like, not even selected. Merchants worried about lack of protection. With our focus on free trade, our merchants are concerned that they are not getting the support that they would get under a more mercantilist policy. That is why it's called free trade, or, well, maybe there's something we can do. Absolutely. Free trade? I don't like that. Who cares about... I don't... <laughs> why are you sending me alliance offers? <laughs> God damn it. Hmm. Right. What we're gonna do is, we now have 8k troops. I swear to god. Okay, I can already I can justify on you for Bumberg. Already, so I'm gonna do that. Then I think that's pretty much it. Let's let's see. If I declare to warn you, I could promise Saxony land. Oh, this is a big choice right here. I think I can take him, but I mean, who am I to say? Right? Okay, first of all, stop stop drilling right now. Let's just hang around. Let's just, you know, get some ticks in. Get our morale up. And actually, let's activate this one. Surrender of Maine has happened. France lose 10 prestige. Add a truce with France. Maine's opinion. Oh, did they not give Maine back? They didn't. Ooh, the English. Getting adventurous here. All right, one more tick, and I think then we go in against Bamberg and uh, Schwarzenberg. I would like all three of these provinces in this single war. Can I make it happen? <sighs> if not, it's going to be an embarrassing start to this series, I can tell you this much. Uh, so you still only have these allies. What about Schwarzenberg? Yeah, they're only allied to themselves. So take Bamberg, add Schwarzenberg as a full enemy, and then confirm, and march in. No! I can't even get there. I'm a moron. Can I get axes? I don't think that will do anything. Hmm. I asked you for axes, right? Okay, one moment. Now I can go there. Okay, let's do it. Ah! You pricks. I will get you. You will get a ah, crossing penalty. Where's the where is the crossing? Is it also from Pegnus? Pegnus, yes. Chemd? Not chemd. Fuck, I can't actually even go there. Why did I do this? <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I totally understand the mechanics of this. Alright, let's 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 fight him. Let's do it. We're in the defensive position, so we didn't even get the malice. Our morale is higher. Uh, probably because we boosted it right there because of the force limit, no? But this is a very, very close one. Which we did win in the end. Leader trait gained. Given our General Friedrich Karl von Hechingen, the defensive planner, shock damage received minus 10%. That is so big. Let's try to stomp these 1k down here. 3.5k apparently. That's not a wipe. That's not a wipe. What the hell? How many troops you got now? 
Jesus, that's a, that's a number of troops, huh? Oh, damn it. I want to hunt you down. What? Ah, okay. They're just gone, apparently. Well, shit happens. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I'm just going to siege you. Let's, let's try just sieging them 20 minutes into the video. Let's hope that they don't fuck me. We're up to 6.5k again. Jeez, they have the superior troops now. The, the superior numbers, I mean. Maybe we have to take up a loan. <clears throat> Maybe we should have called in Saxony to begin with. Where are they? God damn. Let's just give back this military access here. <sighs> yeah. I immediately got it back. Oh, unfortunate. Where are they? Where where did they go? Hmm. They're gonna show up at some point. They're just doing like a journey around the world, it appears. You gotta do that sometimes, right? Oh shit, I can handle that. If I just siege this down, I can handle these. Okay, we got this one. Yeah, let's go. We can do this. They got a general. One, two, three. I think we're fine. I think we can do this, yeah. Oh, not if they run away. Essentially, I think we, we are superior because our shock damage goes down thanks to the general modifier. I think that was a huge change in pace right there. Absolutely needed as well, don't get me wrong here. But surprise. For sure, but a welcome one. Oh, come on, I hate this. This is the only thing I hate about these mods when you move around like this, but you know what? Whatever. I think we got him now. I think we do. Get Schwarzenberg out of the game by conquering them. I know they're trying to siege me down there, that's fine. Let's just wait this out. This is going to be a good episode, I promise you this. Unhappiness among the clergy. Conflict of opinion and interest over religious and secular matters between our government and our nation's religious authorities has upset the clergy. Uh, we could lose prestige, but I don't really, really don't want to do that. So let's just lose papal authority, or influence rather, if necessary. And it appears to be necessary to me, because I'm not going negative with my prestige here, sorry. No chance. Okay, we have conquered this province. Why shouldn't I be able to just annex you? I see. Because, well, you still exist, I suppose. Right, let's let's go get him. Oh, they're getting away with it. Still getting away with it? You're going to Wildberg? Jeez. They're moving so quick. Get out of here. Oh, this nonsense. Oh my god. Stop moving like this. <laughs> Every time. Now the troops are just standing down here. Why? What are, they, what are they doing down there? What are they doing in Ansbach? Why are they sitting around there? Right, okay, let's take Bamberg. Uh, we're gonna have a good time here. This is a strong start. A very strong start. We didn't even need to call in anybody. <sighs> very strong start. Feel very, very good about it, actually. Honestly. <clears throat> let's get them done here. Hope I wasn't... Well, they rolled well, but we rolled better. They actually get movement speed, but our shock damage received is unbeatable. That is... It's a one-star general. He's not great, but that modifier is huge. That is a change of pace that you don't see often. Let's occupy Kronach, and then we have everything, and we can go ahead in a proper peace deal. So I would like Greifenstein, Bamberg, and Schwarzenberg. No coalition. I'm not sure what the... I don't know how the Emperor works in this mod. Oh god. Do I want to do this? It's so stupid. It's a stupid idea. But it's only... It's actually only... Why aren't you telling me, like, who's... who this call... I don't know, man. We can core it. 
Over overextension isn't too much. Give me money and uh war reparations? What the fuck? Oh Bumbag owns stuff down there? I had no idea what what? I had no idea. How did that happen? Interesting. Well, I mean Oh, that's why they went down there. Now I get it. Alright, you know what? I'm not annexing them then. I'm only annexing one nation, which is fine. I think. Right, how about you pay reparations then? Sure. So who's gonna get mad at me now? My name is so big already. Corruption is growing, pardon me. Donate to the Teutonic Order. Doubt it, buddy. Let's call all of this. Done it. And now, we shall merely sit around. Boot out corruption, please, like this. Thank you. We're still making some money here. I, I, I don't know how the Emperor reacts to this, right? He gotta hate this, no? No? Apparently you can expand here and he doesn't consider that like stolen land or something. Let's improve relations with you, Saxony, and with Munich. Oh, Munich likes us. Nope, that wasn't Munich. This is Munich. Oh, what a strong first expansive episode. Holy fuck. We're the big boys. We are the big boys now. And you cannot stop us. Let's go. It's this easy, everybody. This is how a masterful player plays this game, okay? Have you ever doubted me? Because you shouldn't. And Brandenburg, I feel like, is losing left and right. Poland expanded a bit over here. Um, don't know what our brethren over here in Brandenburg did exactly. Well, it didn't look too healthy. France is losing against Provence somehow. Uh, other than that, pretty good. Pretty good. Can't complain. Good first episode. I, I won't lie to you. Saxony is now attacking the Vogtland over here. Still, uh, oh, that's right. I didn't look at inventions at all. At institutions. So, Renaissance. Started in Nap oh, really? in Naples. Fascinating. Uh, when embraced, blah, blah. Okay. Colonialism, printing press, standard stuff. Pretty standard stuff. Don't, don't even need to read it. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're still doing fairly well on, on soon going to Tech 36. Doing well on power projection now as well. Although a bit more would be nice. Jesus, I I can't believe this went so well. This was just a really good... Also, let's stop drilling and instead... Oh, we are at zero manpower. Fuck. Okay, let me check something here. Let's build things, shall we? Things that bring us money, if possible. So I would, of course, like uh, something that adds to... Okay, we can't really do any of that. Let's do a road network, then. In the province where it is the most profitable, so let's do it over here. Not in Bayreuth, even. It's kind of weird, you know? It's our capital, and it doesn't work that way. And uh, let's deactivate the fort, Jesus. Don't have that be active. You can keep training, of course, that will cost us additional money, but I would rather have the army professionalism than anything else. Great expectations. A political marriage is as much as a union as it is a contract of mutual support. The von Abenberg family expects that the prince will heed the advice of the prince's concert and actively look after their and his interests. Anything for dear prince's concert or, sorry, no special favors. Yeah, okay. Why not? I think he listens to his wife. You know, I, I, th I th honestly think that he likes his wife. He wouldn't have given up his title for Brandenburg if he wasn't... Oh. Infertile. <laughs> uh, but we already have an heir, so that's fine. But I don't think he would have given up the title if he wasn't interested in, you know, doing things that he personally cares for. So, Saxony... What? Who hurt you, Saxony? How did this happen, Saxony? <laughs> That's pretty embarrassing. I don't know what exactly is going on there, but it's not looking too fun, is it? 
How did they do that? How did the Vogtland do that? Amazing. Oh, it's von Wittelsbacher. That's amazing. Nobles demand, demand old rights. The, the nobility during this period still record the days when the kings was just the first among many nobles. The nobility wanted to return to these days and would frequently pressure the king to regain certain lost rights, lost rights of privileges. <sighs> Ten years monthly. Monthly autonomy change. Right now, how is it changing? Each month, minus... It'd still be good, like we'd still be sinking, right? Yeah. So I will accept the demands, get more loyalty, and then immediately see if I can't use that loyalty. Cool diet. Lose prestige? No. Ugh. Can't do anything with him. Clergy. Clergy? Not really interested in that. None of these are good at the moment. Ask for contributions is nice. Yes. Thank you. What is this? Monop the Monopoly Charter? Not interested. Who are you? Winsheim. You're just a free city. No, thank you. We have gained these as core provinces. So, blobbing, I assume? Look at this name. Doesn't this look nice? Just so good. You can make into states. If I make this into a state, our income will rise and we have now to call this again oh it's only sein time really isn't it that wasn't the state i think that's everything called oh no there you go geek and kronach have also been called and now we've done it and the nobility demands more rights and i'm going to be fair to them pignitz how do you feel about coming Controlled by the nobility. Let's just believe that is... Oh, you dicks. That's not enough for you. Let's just believe that I just gave that to the von Abenberg family, right? And then I'll give Erlang to the von Abenberg family as well. Or maybe to some other noble family anyway. Still don't really have much manpower, so kind of waiting on that. And the Saxons are retaking everything while this... What is Saxony doing? I, I, the AI appears to have some issues here with this sort of blanket warfare. <laughs> it looks fairly odd, doesn't it? Oh, and I just noticed we're 32 minutes in. You can see our name on the map. Isn't that great? We can see our name on the map. And we took a considerable amount of land, which of course throws us back a bit in reaching the next technological level. But nobody... Oh, some some people have advanced, yeah. Mostly the major nations that can afford advisors, of course, which we can't. I, I don't think we can, at least. And uh, we will carry on, and in the next episode, we will look deeper into forming Franconia. I will see you then. Thanks for tuning in, and same time, same place, same channel, 9pm CST. Until then, later.